Hi guys, so I'm here today with a very exciting video. Today we are going to be doing my Moonshine Money collection. I've made all my notes in here. We've been through a few collections so far, um, so I think this is the fourth one that I'll be doing. I've got um, 30 bottles of Moonshine Money polish. Some of those were gifted, some of those I won, and some were bought by myself. So quite a mixture. I've tried to put them in some sort of order, um, but not necessarily date order. I did try to do it sort of what ones I knew were a bit older first, going on to new ones. Um, I've got five that are in the old bottle shape, so let's jump straight in and have a look at those. So first up was the very first Moonshine Money that I ever got, and this I bought, I think, of Claire Grey. Um, this is called Good Your Married Kisser. Um, this one, let me arrange myself, it's this beautiful light blue base with some glitters in there. Um, and this one was from the Use the Swartz collection um, in April 2018. So, um, feels a few years ago now, doesn't it, with <laughs> everything that's gone on. Um, a really pretty one, this one, and I was so excited to try Moonshine Money. So that is good, you're married, kiss her. Next up we have a very, very sparkly one. And this is called That's What She Said. It was from the Officisms Part 1 collection in May 2019. And I did buy the duo, so I did get the painted phalanges one to this as well. And this is a gorgeous, sort of a yellowy gold um, glitter. I actually wore this when I went abroad on my nails. Um, it's just very, very pretty. I love a good sparkle. So that was that's what she said. We then have one that was gifted to me from the lovely Anna. Um, quite a few of these have been gifted to me from Anna. Uh, this one's called the Polar Express. The bottle, I need to redo the label on the bottom because it's um, over time it's rubbed off. Uh, this one was from the 12 Days of Christmas Movies in December 2018. Which, oh, you can get the flash in it there if I hold it in that angle. Sort of like a dark navy blue, I want to say, base. Um, but another pretty one there. So that was the Polar Express. Um, the last two that I've got in the old bottle shape are actually a duo which were a Facebook exclusive and that was back in May 2019 and they are Sunny and Cher. So Sunny is this sunny yellow and it's got the purple gl uh, glitters and flakes in. And then Cher, which is the other half, is the opposite. So um, it was a called the opposite attract duo actually. So this one's a purple base with like the yellow glitters and things in. So that's that one there. Uh, I really love this duo. I love purples and yellows. So as soon as this one was brought out, I knew I had to get it. Um, so I got both of that um, in that duo. So that was Sunny and Cher. Okay, then we go on to the new shape bottles. Now, like I say, the dates are muddled up because I wasn't sure in what order they came out. Um, so first up to show you, I have Weasley is Our King, which is like an orange sort of jelly with packed full of glitters. I don't think there's any flakes in there. I think it's just glitters. Um, definitely represents the Weasleys. So this is uh, one for the Harry Potter fans out there. Um, this one was a limited edition comeback in 2019. So I must say, you, uh, some of these they're not available anymore, but some are still on the website. So I do apologise if you can't, if you see something you like and you can't find it. But um, Phoebe lost a lot of her recipes for a polish at one point, which was really, really sad. Um, but she has bought some back, she has sort of made a new batch of them as best as she can. So some of them are 2.0s I think, and like I say, some of them are comebacks. Um, so that was Weasley is our king, oh and that's, that is a 2.0. Uh, 
Uh, next up we have, it's the simple things in life you treasure. Let's see, this was from the Galaxy Quest collection in July 2019. This is a nice glowy shade, as you can see there. Um, I should have, I did have a look um, when I was, because I do quite a bit of research, when I do my collection videos, I do quite a re lot of research into the collections. I didn't actually have a look at the other polishes in this collection, um, but I should have really. <laughs> but this is a pretty one. This was another one, that, again, that was gifted to me. A lot of the older ones are ones that I've been gifted, because, um, yeah, it's been more recent that I've been buying them. Obviously, being in the UK, it's it's not always easy to order from from the US and things. But Phoebe is very good, and her shipping price is always great. But I do tend to just buy three polishes at a time because then it's the lower shipping rate. Um, unless unless it's my birthday or something, I treat myself. <laughs> um, anyway, next up is Love Needs No Words, and this was an autism awareness from March 2020. For this, so this was only from last year. I do believe this one was sent to me from Anna um, and it's a gorgeous blue base with flakies in I won't try describing them too much because as we all know my descriptions aren't always up to standard unless I've got it right in front of me um, but yeah it's, um, some of them are sort of I don't, I'd like to say iridescent but I could be totally wrong um, but there's a, some gorgeous blue flakes in there as well. So that was Love Needs No Words. Uh, next up we've got this one, which I love the name of, another gifted one. Uh, it's called Every Week is Swatch Fest. And this was from the Project Dupit. Um, but it just makes me think of the Swatch Fests on a Saturday, which are great fun. So if you haven't watched them, I really, really recommend coming along because we have such a laugh. It's brilliant. Um, so this was inspired by API's Every Month is Oktoberfest, and this was from brought out in November 2019. It's a quite a vampy shade, this one. I don't actually own the API, so um, and I don't need to now, obviously. <laughs> There's quite a few polishes now in the Project Jupit collection. There's um, another one at least coming up in a bit, I know. Next up we have Bora Bora. Uh, this was from the Beach Please collection in June 2019 and this is a gorgeous peachy colour um, with again with flakers in it and I can see sort of pinks and uh, I've got a feeling they might be multi-chrome flakers in this one. Um, I love this one, very pretty. This is definitely a colour that I reach for in the summer. It looks a bit brighter there on camera actually than it does here with me. So that was Bora Bora. Uh, we then have Go For Carol. And this one I bought recently, I think it's one that was being discontinued. And it's from the Boom I Still Got It collection in April 2020. Um, now I didn't realise at the time of swatching but apparently this one is a thermal. So next time I wear it I will be sure to take some other photos of this one. Um, I did actually watch this series, I can't think what it was called now. Um, was it something like Last Man on Earth or something? And I did watch some of these and then I sort of, I got so far in and then I stopped watching it for a short while and then I couldn't find it again, so I didn't watch all of them. Um, but this is a gorgeous polish. I love these that are sort of two drastic colours together, so this is like, your pink with I'm gonna say dark blue um, glitters in it and other, some others mixed in there as well I know that there is so many components go into these polishes that there's no way without the descriptions I could tell you what was in them um, so that's go for Carol so a pretty one there Next up we have Mrs. White from the Get A Clue collection and this was September 2019. This is um, this is a shade that I would definitely pick out myself. Um, this one was gifted to me from Anna again. Um, but this is a white, it's got like iridescent glitters and flakes in. 
Um, but I do, I really go for these sort of whitey shades. I've got quite a few now actually. Um, it's just, I find they're very clean looking. And I, I just love how they look on the nails. Next up we have Ride or Die Protocol and this was from the Good Place collection in May 2019. This is like um, a rosy gold foil and it has got some bigger glitters in it as well. Um, I wore this one on my toes as well as my fingers. I won't be showing the toe swatch today um, but maybe if I, if I put these up on Instagram again perhaps I'll pop the toe swatch in of this one but it's a lovely colour for the toes and a lovely colour for the nails. What I did on my toes with it was I let it dry overnight and then I added a gel top coat so it lasted for ages. Um, so that's Ride or Die Protocol. Then we have See You in Six Months. This is from the Primetime Lovers Part 3 collection and that was in January 2020. Uh, this is a lovely purple base with purple glitters in it um, and, well, and flakes. And they're, um, I don't know if you're going to be able to pick them up there. But obviously it's a purple, so there's no other reason. I mean, I don't need another reason to have picked this one apart from the fact that it's purple, really. Um, <laughs> but it's very pretty. They're all very pretty. So that was See You in Six Months. Uh, we then have one that I lusted over for quite a while before buying it, and that is Dark Iron Destiny 2.0. Um, this was another MSM comeback, and it was for April 2020. Um, it's just a beautiful polish, and it's got this sort of dusty grey base with all of these orange to pink, I think, flakes in there. I think this was probably quite a popular one. Very, very beautiful. That's Dark Iron Destiny 2.0. Next up is one that I bought for myself, and I don't know what I drew me to this polish on the website, but it's absolutely stunning. Definitely in my top three of Moonshine Manners that I've got at least anyway. And this is the King of Bad Thanksgivings. Um, so this was from Thanksgiving with Friends in 2019, which is obviously November time-ish. Um, I am a big Friends fan. Um, I have a couple of other polishes that are named after Friends, but I, as much as I'd like to buy them all, I don't tend to buy them unless it's a colour that I really like and haven't got. Um, because otherwise, it just gets silly, doesn't it? Um, but this one, oh... It is absolutely stunning. Um, it's got like the gold in there, which I love about polishes anyway, that when they've got the gold in. Um, it's such an unusual colour. I, I don't know. I just love, I cannot tell you, I just love this polish. Um, so that's the King of Thanksgivings. Um, and like I say, that was from 2019. Next up we have another Project Dupe It and this was one that along with many others I requested for um, and this is called Drop Dead Gorgeous so this is um, inspired by China Glazes Don't Let The Dead Bite which I have to say I do still want that polish but this is a brilliant dupe for it um, this was, when was this one? Oh, this was April last year that this one was done. Um, so there it is here. This was probably the most requested polish. Um, Phoebe always asks, uh, on, the web, on the Facebook group, um, there's a post for people to request what they would like. Um, so this was definitely a popular one. So that's Drop Dead Gorgeous. Uh, next up, another beauty. Anna kindly, kindly sent me this one. Um, I was desperate to get this polish. Um, and this is called A Choice of Alloys. And it's from the Looking for Group Add-ons Part 4, May 2020. Um, another purple. But it is rammed with flakes in there. Just absolutely gorgeous. 
Uh, I think this was a very popular one again at the time. I don't think, is this one still, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm really sorry, I'm not sure which ones are still available and which aren't. I will put some links down below, so please be sure to check out um, all of those. I'll link Phoebe's channel, I'll link the Facebook group, uh, her website. So, um, yeah, um, I am... Phoebe actually does, you can become a member of her channel as well, which um, I've got like a basic membership. So you get 10% off with mine. I get 10% off of the Swatch Fest um, when we make polishes, so the ones that we make. Um, and I also get to watch after she's done a, a mix along with everybody, there's like another one then where members only make another polish. So I get to do that as well. Um, and that's all for, I think it's four ninety nine a month. Um, there's other things on there, um, but off the top of my head, obviously, I don't know. But I'll, like I say, I'll put lots of links down below. Uh, then we have Survivor, and this was from the Back to Reality TV collection. Um, that was in August 2019. This is a really unusual polish, and I did get a lot of compliments on this one. So it's kind of like a, a beigey sort of base with lots of pretty, lots of pretties in there. And that is a Survivor. Um, we're getting through them slowly guys. <laughs> uh, so we then have a Tisp of Neon. Now this is actually a Swatch Fest exclu exclusive from one of the mix-alongs. And a Tisp of Neon was actually the name that I suggested for this one, so I knew I had to have this one. Um, this was, let's see, this was July last year actually. Gosh, um, feels a lot, a lot, it doesn't feel quite that long, but uh, yeah, so anyway, I'll show you the polish, sorry, I'm jabbering on. Um, it's like a pinky purple base on this one, and it has got, you might not be able to pick them out, but it has got some neon, MAC neon glitters in there. Um, all of the names from the mix-alongs are chosen by the watchers and every single name when I buy one of these polishes reminds me of, of all the, the laughs that we had coming up with them and things. Um, so it's always nice to get the Swatch Fest exclusive polishes, which I probably buy more of to be honest um, than any others just because... Yeah, just because you take part and like I say, and there's always like a memory that comes along with the name. Uh, so that's really good fun. Uh, we then have We All Have Plans, which is another exclusive. Um, I'm not sure when this one, I know this was a lockdown one. Um, and I know at the time we were all joking around because obviously it was a Saturday night and uh, there was nothing to do, nobody had. So We All Have Plans sort of derived from that. Um, this one's another purple <laughs> and it's got some very funky glitters in there. Uh, so that is We All Have Plans. Um, the Swatch Fest exclusives are on the website, they're not all available still, some have retired but most of the ones that you see here should still be on there I think. Um, Glitter Me Timbers is the next one, another Swatch Fest exclusive. Um, again, unfortunately, I don't know when this one was from. I think I purchased this one for myself actually. This is like a baby blue base and it's got some blue glitters and some pink glitters and possibly some tiny silver glitters too. So that's Glitter Me Timbers. And I must point out that it's spelt Tim Line Burrs. Tim is Phoebe's husband. I don't remember this one, so I may have missed this swatch along. Um, mix along, sorry. Um, but I'm guessing it had something to do with Tim. <laughs> um, next up is from Those Who Creep and Eat Pizza Collection. And that was in September 2020. Um, this, I think this collection was requested by one of Phoebe's daughters and this one's called Freddy is Watching You. I picked this one up because it's really unusual and I knew I definitely didn't have anything like this in my collection. So it's like lots of browns but it just really intrigued me this polish. Again that's Freddy is Watching You. Okay we've got seven more. 
So, next up is a very popular one, I think, and this is called Pewter Bells. Another Swatchfest exclusive. Um, in fact, most of these, I think, apart from two, are Swatchfest exclusives now. Um, and this one was from October 2020, and it's a gorgeous grey base with silver glitters in there. I did show, did I show this? I have shown this on another video actually. I can't remember. I may not, I won't say because I may not have put it up yet, I'm not sure. <laughs> so that's Pewter Bells. Very, very pretty. Um, the next one is called North Pole Glow. And I think, oh no, this was a December 2020 Swatchfest exclusive. I recently posted a picture of this on her Facebook page because this was a recent one that I worn. This one is such a beautiful glowy polish, very unusual. Um, it's got, I don't know if you can catch the flashes in there, but oh, very, very pretty this. That is North Pole Glow. Um, next up is my, another one of my top three Moonshine Manners. I've definitely spoken about this polish several times and it's called Moon River. Um, this one we made, when did we make this one? In October 2020 and it is so glittery, it is just rammed with sparkle. Um, it's a beautiful blue colour, as you can see there. <laughs> like I say, definitely one of my top three. So that is Moon River. Um, we then have, which one are we doing next? Purple is my jam. And this, another purple, is um, from, let's see, a Swatch First exclusive from another October 2020. I think I must have bought all of the ones from this Swatch First actually. Um, just gorgeous. If you're a purple fan, then purple is my jam is definitely for you. See, it's rammed with flakers and things in there. Uh, we then have one that I didn't, didn't buy straight away, but I wanted it, but I did leave it a while before buying it. And this was from November 2020, and this is called Red on Red on Red. Um, and it's like a, it's kind of like a jelly base, I think, with lots of red glitter in it. Very Christmassy, very pretty. Um, I, I do love the sparkly reds. If I wear a red, it usually has some other element in it rather than it just being a cream. Um, but this is, yeah, a lovely one. So red on red on red. <laughs> uh, we then have one of Tim's um, Did I Do That collection in from October 2020. And this is Yoda Lady Who. This was, I, there was another one. There was a duo. And I think these were inspired by... Is it The Mandalorian, which I haven't actually watched yet, but I really want to. Um, just a gorgeous green, this one. It has got a flash in it. I can't... I do rely on the daylight to film these, so it's not always easy to get the polishes to show up. Um, but it's got, it's got this gorgeous green shimmer through it. And some other, I think they're green, like shards in there, but um, but they're just so pretty. Oh, I just, yeah, another gorgeous one. And last but not least, this is my most recent purchase. And this was from January 2021's Polish Pickup, which I do believe was like gemstones or something, the um, thing. Um, and this is Take Nothing for Granite, or Granite, oh, I just can't, I've... Yeah, granite, take nothing for granite. Um, and this is, it's like a grey off-white base with bronze and copper and gold glitters through it. Um, this was the reason for me buying from that polish pickup because I wanted this polish. So, very pretty. So, out of all the ones I've got, well, you know, I mean, I said <laughs> my top three. Um, 
So definitely the King of Thanksgivings, definitely Moon River, and I think if I was to pick another one from all of the ones that I own and that I've swatched, um, I think it would have to be Ride or Die Protocol. So out of the ones I own, those are my top three. Um, I love sparkle and shimmer and things like that, so <laughs> yeah, those ones are definitely, definitely some of my favourites. Uh, so that was my whole Moonshine Money collection at the moment. I'm sure it will grow, as usual. Like I say, I'm going to put some links down below, so be sure to check those out, because um, you all are definitely missing out if you're not watching Swatchfest on a Saturday night. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.